to mid-century comedy in St. Louis's Gaslight Square. There we go. Our fella and dame in the audience? No. Okay. Um, they actually had their last show last night. They could only be in town for the weekend because I think they're doing St. Louis Fringe and had to leave town and go back to St. Louis. So you all missed it, but you didn't miss it because you get to see it at Fringe Prom. Yay! Has anyone in the audience seen this show? Oh, Lots oh, of people yeah. listen to the show. Hmm. Oh, okay. You avoided eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> so, you saw the show? Yeah. All right. Good. <laughs> Stick around after they perform. <laughs> We're going to need you. It'll be a long wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that. Neither of you have seen the show, fell on day. No. All right. Only its original run on Broadway. Oh. <laughs> so they recast it. Um, so uh, we're going to let them have at it and see what they can do. Can you describe it first? <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> told you the rules aren't that important. <laughs> so we can't have captains now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Uh, here we go. This nostalgic play transports audiences to the vibrant entertainment scene of the 1950s and 60s, St. Louis. Comedy duo, Ste duo Stella Fella and Danny Dame are faced with the choice. Pursue Hollywood fame or remain loyal to their roots in Gaslight Square. Their journey explores themes of friendship, ambition, and the true meaning of success. Will they chase the spotlight of Tinseltown or find fulfillment closer to home? <laughs> ring, 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 ring. My, the phone's ringing. Oh, well, you better get it. I will, Stella fella. <laughs> you get it, Danny Dame. <laughs> it's Hollywood calling. Oh, I'm just pouring myself a little martini right now. Could you make one for me? Stirred, not shaken, please. Of course, dollface, you got it. <laughs> they loved our script. Oh, they did now. They want to make us big Hollywood stars. What? Which means we'd have to leave St. Louis. <laughs> we wouldn't just have to leave St. Louis. We sure would. We'd have to leave Gaslight yeah. Square. And the Arch. <laughs> <laughs> and all the cows. And Six Flags just down the road. Well, you know, it's been my dream since I've been a young little Stella Bella. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I do know. And that. I've been working on my medical drama for a long time. Yes, House MD. It's going to be big. I know it's <laughs> I believe it. Maybe it'll take years for it to really come to fruition, but I know it's a winner. I know it. Yeah, I'm sure they'll be talking about he it for years to come. He has a back problem and a drug problem, mm -hmm. but God damn it, he knows what he's talking he's about. <laughs> he's character. If I've ever seen it, Danny Dame. Well, will you go with me? Out to Hollywood? <laughs> Are you able to re leave those toasted raviolis behind? <laughs> Are you willing to leave that St. Louis style Emo's pizza behind? Oh no, oh, Emo's, don't bring up I Emo's. know it's such a draw for the city. <laughs> oh, Daniels. I'll do it for you. But I want you, to you have to promise me that the fame won't get to your head now. It won't, and I promise never to recast you. Because you know I need you to be house. <laughs> I can't possibly think of anyone more suited to the role. No, no British, classically trained actor who has a great American accent. I don't know why we're even talking about it if you're not even going to recast me. So. Uh, just to let you know that your friendship means more to me than anything. Thank you, Ben. Um, I have to let you know that I've also been working on something. Oh, yes. It's, well, uh, I thought we were kind of focusing on my project right now. Well, <laughs> it was just it was something that you know it came to my mind. Um, it, it, it's a little thing I call the Big Bang Theory. <laughs> <laughs> that little farce? 
<laughs> you know how I feel whenever you tear apart my ideas. You know how I feel when you tear apart my ideas. You think that show would be a success? I think it'll have many spin-offs. Maybe just one. <laughs> but the one will be really good. Possibly even better than the original. Critics are still unsure what they say. <laughs> Is this it? Is this the thing that's gonna tear us apart? Did you get an offer on your screen? Ring, 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 the other phone's ringing. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> that was Hollywood calling again. <laughs> they said you betrayed me. <laughs> Are they still there? I'm taking my bags. <laughs> and I'm going to produce house with Hugh Laurie. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, since you saw the show, uh, I'm you to come up here and, and tell us what you thought. Uh, I thought it was, it was just like the original show, wasn't it? Oh, I don't have any pedantic words to describe it. <laughs> <laughs> the beginning was spot on, but then it kind of derailed a little bit. Ooh. Changed the ending. I don't know if I liked it better than the original. It harsh but fair, ending. harsh but fair. No. <laughs> So I'll give him a point. You'll give him a point. Oh, oh, we got it. We got a point. Not saying. <laughs>